and welcome to Living Creative with Pixie Princess. This is going to be a year in review, so stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned. And if you are watching this on the day it airs, this is the day before Thanksgiving 2022. And we started this channel just after Thanksgiving 2021. This will be video 80 for us. And we have enjoyed this process. We've learned a lot. And I hope you have learned a lot too. And I just wanted to thank you so much for viewing my videos and for all the likes and any comments that I've received. But please, if you find value in my videos, I really would appreciate you giving them a thumbs up, sharing them on social media. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe and make comments and give me a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that I am not making junk and that you find value in my videos, which I do hope you do. My goal is to help you tap into creativity and learn new skills, whether it be cooking, a new recipe, learning some arts and crafts. When we started the video last year, we made two videos back to back, um, one week apart. They were making dishes out of leftovers from Thanksgiving. And be sure to go back and check those videos out. We made Brunswick stew and we made stuffed pork chops um, with the leftover dressing, AKA stuffing and the cranberry sauce. Oh my goodness, both of those were delicious. So go back, they're the first two videos I ever posted. So check those out. Please excuse the poor quality of the video, but we have come a long way and you will see as we progressed, we got better and better at this and the quality of our videos has improved vastly and I hope to continue that improvement. If you view these videos and you would like me to redo them, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to do that. I'm going to have some leftovers and I'll have to have something to do with them. You know, sometimes you don't want to eat the same meal over and over and over when you have leftovers. You can freeze things and make different dishes out of them. I'll make that. If you have any suggestions for any other leftovers, um, any other dishes we can make with leftovers, I appreciate your comments. And any good critique or any critique I appreciate because it helps me grow. And so that's the first two videos. Uh, in addition to cooking, I've done many um, craft videos. One of my favorite mediums to use is yarn. It just amazes me that you can take a piece of string and make something beautiful out of it. And I use yarn in um, basically three different ways. I crochet that's my first craft I learned was crocheting and then I also love to loom knit and this is just knitting on a loom and you use a pick to do that and I've made some uh, beautiful things um, one of my popular videos is the loom knitted bag holder where you put plastic bags from the grocery store so that you can reuse them for different things um, I have a basic one and then I have a basket weave one um, and both of those are my two most watched videos so if you want to check those out um, please do so and then I'm learning how to knit with needles and I never thought I could do this but I have made a couple of projects um, on the knitting needles and I'm so proud of myself I don't feel qualified to be a teacher but as I'm learning, if you would like me to take you along on this journey, I will do that. So just let me know in the comments. And, you know, if I'm knitting and I'm doing something wrong and you are an avid knitter, please comment. I welcome your critiques on that. You know, and I'm just, I've never thought I could do that. So if there's something you want to learn to do, if you put your mind to it, you can learn to do it. This is a swatch I made on the needles just to kind of practice. And that's very good. But I've made... Um, a scarf and I've made a headband and I made a child size hat and it's child size because I didn't cast on enough stitches and it's too small for my head but it turned out very nicely I think so a few flaws here or there and I am going to excuse me 
try to make a snowman and do a tutorial on it as soon as I can figure out how to make the snowman not look like a peanut wearing a scarf. So hopefully I will master that and I can get that um, posted soon. Uh, not only did I fill it with polyfill, but I put jingle bells. So I thought that was a cute little thing to do for a Christmas decoration. Um, you know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We'll be doing our feast. I will film some of the uh, food that I'm preparing. Uh, one I've already got a video on, and that is Strike It Rich Potatoes. So if you want to go back and view that video, the quality's a little bit better. But, you know, I can do that one again, too, if you like. Uh, it's not quite where the quality is today, and hopefully we'll get better at that. But this is not a diet dish. This is a side dish for the holidays. It is not low in calorie, it is not low in fat, it is not low in carbs. But it is delicious, and I have gotten rave reviews when I've served it. It's Strike It Rich Potatoes, so you can go back and watch that one. But I'll be making some other dishes, and if you're anything like our family, what we cook for Thanksgiving, we cook for Christmas too. You know, as the song says, a turkey and some mistletoe makes the season bright. So, you know, we buy the turkeys when they're on sale before Thanksgiving. We buy one for Thanksgiving. We put another one in the freezer for Christmas. So, heads up on that one. So, I'll be posting some of that. I wanted to share a couple of things that I've started collecting. This right here, I know it's gaudy looking, but this has been in my family since I was a child. My father bought it at a thrift store, and my mom used it for Thanksgiving every year. And she gave it to me and I, uh, when she passed along. And so now I have it, and I don't part with it. My husband affectionately calls this Turkeyzilla because he's so much bigger than the other <laughs> the people and the houses in the video. But we love this platter, as gaudy as it is. But... You know, we saw a couple. I'm not going to collect a whole bunch because I don't have the storage for it. But here's another platter that I got at the flea market. And it's very pretty. It's nice. It's glass. There's that platter that I picked up at the flea market. I've seen some other platters and I said, no, I can't. But here's one more that I got at the thrift store here. This one's pretty. It's about the same size as my other one. But it's very pretty, I think, and it's not as gaudy, but I love the one that my daddy bought when I was a child. And, you know, Christmas is coming. I'm going to be making a lot of Christmas treats. I have some videos. I think I have a whole week's worth of Christmas treats and goodies. So go back to that and watch those videos. I have potato candy pinwheels. I have potato candy peppermint patties and some different cookies and things that I made, and I'll have some more things that I didn't make last year. Um, this is a pretty platter that I bought at the thrift store, and, you know, I like to fill this with cookies, and when I'm taking it, um, I filled up a platter, this one and another platter, took it to Sunday school, told all my ladies that in my class, you know, bring your Tupperware or zipper bags because I want to go home with empty platters, and they got a bunch of cookies and goodies to take home with them. So stay tuned for new videos for Christmas goodies, but be sure to check out the ones that I made last Christmas. Um, again, video quality not quite where it is today, and I'm hoping even the quality of today gets better. So check out those. If you have any questions, please comment or send me an email. If you have any recipes you want me to try, or any crafts that you want me to try, please let me know. Send, send them in an email or in a video, uh, excuse me, in the comments in one of my videos. And if you send me a recipe that you want me to cook on camera and try out, I will give you a shout out and if that's what you want. Or I'll keep you uh, anonymous if that's what you want as well. But yeah, I just want you to tap into your creativity. Uh, we've also been taking pictures uh, photography is a wonderful avenue for creativity and you know God made us in his image and he is the master creator so when I'm being creative and 
things that you don't think you're being creative at, you are. When you're preparing a meal, when you're um, making something, when you're taking a picture, that is a creative avenue. And for me, that is a form of worship. I connect to God. That's one of the ways that I connect to God. I also like to write. Uh, I've written several poems and I love to write poetry and I love to share God's love through those poems. And I may share some poetry on here with you. If you would like that, please let me know. And I just want to pause and say thank you, thank you, thank you. We've made it through almost a year. We've gone through some tough times through this year, but I've enjoyed every step of making these videos. Um, you know, I've gone through some illnesses and had to pause making videos. My husband's um, been in the hospital and we couldn't make videos. My husband is my cameraman and my editor, and he makes sure these videos get posted uh, to the YouTube channel. And I appreciate him so very much. And without him, I couldn't be doing this. But I also can't do this without you. So I want to know what you want to see more of. And do you want to see more crafting, more cooking? Do you like both? Do you want to see more photography? Um, anything, you know, let me know. I may be doing some uh, product reviews next year. So one of the things... I want to review, and this is going to be an unbiased review. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything that I'm not planning on buying anyway. You know, but meal plan kits. I've used a couple of them before. I do like them, but I want to try the two that I've already tried, which is HelloFresh and Every Plate. And I want to demonstrate the cooking, but um, there's some others out there. If there's any that you would like me to try, please comment below and I can do that. So that will be, you know, the meal plans for uh, my husband and I when I buy those. But I'm going to be testing them on the price, the value, uh, the taste, the quality, the, you know, the freshness of the food, uh, the delivery, and, you know, how it tastes and the ease of making it. So, and that's just going to be my opinion. You know, you have to try things out for yourself, but I'm just going to let you know my opinion and you can watch me demonstrate how to cook these meals. Most of them will be like three meals a week. So I will post those in a week. So I'm hoping to do at least four, but if there's a couple of more that you want me to try, please comment below. I plan on doing HelloFresh, Every Plate, Sun Basket, which I believe is an organic um, meal plan and blue apron. If there's any others that you want me to try, please let me know and I will look into that. But for now, I just want to thank you so much for your support for this channel. And please, if you have not subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps our channel out tremendously. And YouTube will knows that, you know, people enjoy these videos. I hope that this is information that you can learn something from and also are entertained by some of the things that we do. And so, yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel and comment. And I hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving. And don't forget to stop and be thankful for the things that you've been blessed with. And until the next video, God bless.